So just about to start with the presentation of the specializing masters in strategic design, and I now leave the floor to the professor Cautela. Thank you so much, Federica. Uh, good afternoon to everyone and uh, welcome even from my side. Uh, I'm Kabiru Kautela, as Federica was anticipating. I'm the director of this master and the full professor in uh, Politecnico di Milano of this kind of discipline that is a sort of mixture between uh, design science and management science that is called the strategic design and the other discipline that I teach is called the design management. As you can see, we are at the 23rd edition of this master. So you can imagine that is uh, the oldest master of uh, poly design. So we have a strong tradition in this kind of discipline because uh, uh, about 24 years ago, the two uh, let's we say schools of Polytechnico, the business school and the, the design schools, they join together in order to, to take off, let's we say, a new adventure about the, the interplaying between the design territory and the management territory. And today we can see that at the 23rd edition, a lot of things we can say changed, but at the root in a traditional term, we, we can, let we say, uh, uh, highlight that there are strong, let we say, relationship between these two kinds of territories, design and management. And today, a lot of companies, big corporations, small and medium companies, they search for these kind of profiles that uh, they are design strategists, they are design manager, they are design director, they are, we could say, innovation manager with the sensitivity about, we could say, design. So uh, in our mind, uh, uh, strategic design is not a sort of fixed discipline with the clear boundaries. So to the extent that uh, the external world completely changed, and we know that after one year and more of uh, the pandemic outbreak, the, the, the landscape in terms of economy, the landscape in terms of society, the, the landscape in terms of uh, government investment and the new plan of the company, they are completely, let's we say, changing. And in this kind of new scenario, so speaking about strategic design uh, means to speak about how the world is changing and in particular, what are the new trajectories that the company, the no-profit organization, that we could say the big corporation, they are planning for their employees and for the user that they serve for the future. So speaking about, let's we say, strategic design means to speak about the changing role of design into the world, and in particular, let's we say, into the organization, where nowadays design is considered more than a strategic level. Design is considered more than an innovation asset. Design is considered something to craft a new way to work, a new kind of organization and business model. And this is why we could say, just to highlight in the first premises of this presentation, when we think about strategic design, we think about something that is in a sort of ordinary evolutionary road where new kind of business model, new kind of innovative organization, they are designed according to the new pattern that the world proposed. Uh, when we speak about strategic design, one of the concepts that we recall always is that we could say design is making sense of things. And in particular, Krippendorf in, in an article in 1989 highlighted this kind of concept. When you think design, you think at the root of the product and you think about the reason why people love, adopt, use a specific product. So in our master, uh, you will not learn uh, a lot of things about the how part of the products, of the service, of the organization, but you will learn a lot of reason why. So the why part, something happens. Something happened in terms of new products, something happened in terms of new user behavior, something happened in terms of new social cultural model that we could say are spread out in the society. So when we think about, uh, let me say, the strategic design, uh, you have to think a sort of 
orchestration, you, you have to think about a sort of, let's we say, a complex blending of different tangible part and intangible part of the company in order to create the user value. But in particular today, thinking about the user value is a limited concept because the more and more we progress, the more and more we grow as a society, the more we understand that if you want to really create a value for the society, you don't have to take in consideration just the user perspective, but you have to take in consideration the ecosystem perspective. Because in an industrial ecosystem, there are different pressure, there are different stakeholders, there are different kinds of user. And today, for example, one of the topics that we, we speak about is about the non-human design. Why? Because in our world, in our, let's we say, herd, there are different kinds of species like animals, like we could say uh, plants, like other kind of uh, inhabitants of the world that they don't have voice, but they are, let's we say, relevant to take in consideration the progression of the world and the sustainability of different kind of corporate strategy and the corporate goal. So uh, going on, uh, if I have to, let us we say, synthesize the main ingredients of our master, I will tell you that there are different key goals, like for example, developing a capability, so problem setting and problem solving in particular, but sometimes we say that the problem in design are blurred. They are, we could say, ill-defined. And in this kind of frame, sometimes you should find the problem. So there are different kinds of activities that are called problem findings before uh, setting and then solving. Then we uh, develop a personal entrepreneurial aptitude because we could say, if you want to be an innovator, you don't have to think that uh, the first idea that comes out uh, is good and you can implement it. But uh, having and assuming entrepreneurial capability means uh, to be able to create uh, the right resources that surround the business idea and to mobilize everything in an organization or in a startup or uh, in different kind of context, maybe an ecosystem where you have to put everybody, let's we say all the resources pack together in the same direction in order to put on the market the business idea. Then we deal with the complexity management skill. Today, in order to innovate, you don't have just to get a new idea. You don't have, it's not, we could say, sufficient to develop the right idea in the right moment, in the right place, but you have even to uh, check uh, the development of the process. You have to measure how much we could say the innovation is taking place. You have to, let's we say, see at the the new product or the new service as a as a pilot uh, as a pilot to 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 measure in different kind of uh, key moments according to different kind of metrics. So. Everybody that in, orga in an organization, everyone that in, a, in an organization launches a new product is responsible for the, 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 the overall complexity that is in this process. Then when we speak strategic design, we should highlight the concept of envisioning. So when you are at the top of an organization or even in the middle management of an organization, you will be evaluated for the vision that you are able to generate, to gather, to create, to craft inside the organization. And then the other part that we always uh, uh, re realize that is fundamental in the complexity of today is that every kind of inno innovative project or innovation should be story told. So the narrative capabilities, the capability to, to build a story around the innovation is fundamental to create the right consensus inside the organization and outside the organization. What we create in, uh, in uh, briefly, uh, uh, it's about, we could say two main profiles. 
uh, we create a specialist in marketing and innovation. And in particular, we could say what we call R&D manager, industrial designer, or uh, innovation manager. On the other hand, we create design manager, design director, or project manager. There are different labeling in this kind of complex word, but the concept is that we create profile that are able to manage and steer the innovation project, manage and steer the innovation processes. What is the spirit of our master that we use? The spirit is a sort of double-sided spirit because we try to merge and we try to blend the logics of an MBA in which there are different kinds of business learning but on the other end, for example, according to case study analysis, seminars and lecturing, but on the other end, we uh, teach the design contents, the design construct according to an inductive way that is driven by what we call project-based learning. So in our master experience, you will face different kind of short, medium, or long project that are usually committed by external industrial partner that they, in a certain way, they challenge our class in order to develop a new vision, a new scenarios of innovation, new business model, new kind of product service system. Uh, going on, uh, if I have to just uh, depict uh, the, the, the overall structure of our master, I can say that the first seven months are based on uh, uh, teaching modules, but in particular, all the workshop that I will show later. Uh, in our calendar, you will see later that there are the first month dedicated to management related courses and to design related courses. And then there is the starting up of a different workshop activity. In particular, there are three long workshop that are made with industrial partner and three what we call intensive workshop that they deal with the cutting edge content that they are made in three, four days in a week. So it's a sort of fast execution project that is dedicated to a very actual and cutting edge topic that can be related to, I don't know, circular economy, that can be related to uh, the introduction of non-human in the design of new project and a new product, or that can be related, we can say, to the advancement of uh, radical technologies like, for example, AI or IoT or other kind of technology domain that they are stressing and the breakthrough, let's we say different kind of industrial setting. After the seven months in which there are teaching modules and in which there are lectures, seminars and workshop, there will be an intensive internship in which there is a sort of a minimum threshold of 600 hours. And then after the internship, uh, you will uh, face the final project in which, according to the internship that you did, you will take the possibility to put everything, we can say, on the, on the, on the paper sheet in order, we can say, to tell us what was this experience about and what have been the learning takeaway from, let's we say, testing some concept on field, testing some concept, testing some tool in a concrete real experience in a company, in a startup, in an organization that you will choose with us. Usually our, let's we say, master starts from the, uh, the, the, the beginning of November. In this case, we could say it is it is indicated uh, uh, the, the starting date as uh, the 8th of November, and then uh, uh, we will, uh, let's we say, arrive to the, to the summer uh, to finish the teaching modules. Then you will start by the summer period your internship, and then uh, more or less the final project will be discussed in a graduation date starting from the end of January or uh, the beginning of February in 2023.
going on the structure of the master in terms of uh, 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 let me say main overview as i anticipated is formed at the beginning by the management courses there is a reason why there is a clear reason why we put these courses at the beginning uh, management is made by models is made by pattern is made by closed let's we say concept and this is a way to strengthen your shoulder about the management discipline and how the management is evolving in, in this period. On the other end, you will touch all the design courses in which, let's we say, we, with an inductive uh, approach, you will learn how to design and how to manage some design process and design tool. Uh, we have different kinds of courses that are intensively based on uh, design thinking, design tool, uh, how to design a new product service system, what is the core, uh, let's we say, activity in terms of strategic design, how to face a brief from a design strategic point of view. So there are different courses uh, in, uh, in the design, uh, let's we say, stream that relate with the core of this kind of master, that is strategic design. And then there is, let's we say, the, the, the flow of the workshop activities. Uh, wh when you see uh, DIW, it's about the design intensive workshop. And then there are the DE, W that they are, we could say, the design extensive workshop. Usually, as I said, the design intensive workshop, they last no more than three, four weeks, three, four days, because they are intensive uh, uh, session of design. On the other end, the design extensive workshop, they cover three weeks usually. And then, as you can see, there is the project work uh, uh, internship that is uh, usually made in an organization, in a company, or even in different kind of startup incubators, other kind of partner that we have, uh, just to reach at the final tail, the final exam. Uh, what are our uh, main attractive points, as, uh, as I can say? Uh, the first, is about an historical faculty that blends uh, different scholars. Some of them are uh, internationally recognized because they teach in different parts of the world. They teach in different international university. They are uh, sort of uh, pure scientists that they publish uh, different uh, uh, academic uh, uh, articles and papers. So they contribute to the scientific discussion about the role of strategic design into the innovation process. On the other hand, we have different contact contract professor. They are uh, mainly professional. They are practitioner. They come from uh, design studios, design workshop, design agency, design big corporation because we mix usually a practitioner way to see at the discipline and a more theoretical way to see at the discipline. Uh, going on, uh, what, uh, uh, what we can uh, uh, say is that there are other kind of assets that we leverage in our, in our uh, master experience. One is uh, uh, what we call the tangible part of the master that is the class that we have, in particular, all the equipment that we have in our class, because our class is equipped with the steel case that is a multinational that operates in Germany, but in all the Europe and in US, this is a big corporation that sells a platform of learning more than furniture. In fact, they assume a sort of strategic approach to design office and educational furniture. They are our partner and they equip our class with this kind of new furniture that they permit to, 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 to lay out the class according to the kind of activity that you are doing. So the class can be posed in a sort of classical manner with different lines. On the other hand, we can even create different kind of island uh, into the class in order to manage the, the workshop activity, or we can even, we could say, 
take the classical rounded uh, form in which if we have to make a sort of debriefing activity, we can even chat uh, all together in, in this kind of, let me say, shape. Uh, the other, uh, the other uh, key point, the other key asset of our master is the network of scientists, of scholars, of practitioners that we have spread out into the world. Uh, in this kind of picture, you can see Ezio Manzini, that is one of the father of the design for sustainability, not only in Italy, but in every part of the world. On the other hand, there is Roberto Verganti that is one of the founder of this master and uh, the books of Verganti are well known the, into the world about we can say the concept of design driven innovation and the meaning innovation approach that uh, we explain and we adopt in different lecture in our, in our master. Going on, uh, the, the, our asset, another asset, an additional asset that we have, it's the network of companies that uh, they usually take part to the workshop and to other kind of activities that uh, we do every year. Uh, just to make an example, these are uh, still case, or I can, uh, let me say, mention this year companies like uh, UNICEF, like Piaggio, Oh, in the past, we had the company like uh, ING Direct, that is a bank, or other kind of companies like Procter & Gamble, or uh, companies that are more related to the Italian design. For example, Nava Design, that uh, is a backpacker, that is a backpacker uh, producer. So this is just to say that with the strategic design, we don't have fixed partner. We don't have fixed partner that uh, comes from a given industry, but we browse and we navigate in different industries where the role of strategic design can change and can, can assume a different kind of role and benefits for, for the corporation. Going on, uh, our asset is even, we could say, to, to stay on the edge of different kind of, let we say, cutting edge domains, uh, as I anticipated in the intensive workshop, we deal with different kind of on-border uh, topics, uh, as for example, the non-human design, the AI for creativity, or how big data can impact the, 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 the work of designer, or what does it mean to make a sort of data-driven design process. So every year we try to include uh, the hot, topics that the scientific community in a certain way debate and uh, that they are prominent for the future of the future designer profiles. Uh, the other key asset, the other critical asset that we have uh, is uh, every year, it's uh, the seventh year that uh, we had this kind of partnership with the business school into the Europe, that is the Antwerp Management School. In particular, with the Antwerp Management School, uh, we uh, take care about uh, a workshop together that is called the Business Design Workshop. And this kind of experience is a, a real enriching experience because we blend and we merge the two classes. And uh, uh, for one period, our student, they come in Antwerp for, for another period later, the week later, the, the student from Antwerp, they come into, uh, into our building, into our, let me say, poly design structure in order to face together a common workshop that every year changes on the basis of the company that we have. So this is an important and relevant activity that we do. And it's even a way to open up our, uh, let me say, master box, uh, collaborating with the other school, other management school into the world in order to uh, get another point of view clashing different kind of perspective, assuming another language when you develop, uh, when you develop an innovative project. Going on, uh, okay, these are the two classical partners that we have, that is uh, the Graduate School of Business, that is the MIP, that is the Business School of Politecnico, and then on your right, uh, you find the Antwerp Management School, that is one of the 
highly ranked school in Europe uh, for their, uh, let we say, uh, key parameters, because there are different ranking that they measure the position of the business school. And AMS is among the first 30 business school into the Europe. Uh, why choosing uh, a master like strategic design? First of all, uh, more and more and more uh, the complexity management uh, needs uh, not only vertical competence, uh, so you don't have just to know something in a particular industry, but in order to generate innovation, you have to be a sort of a broker. It means that you have to assume to take away the capability to browse from a sector to another because the innovation is made according to some contamination process. On the other hand, uh, we are uh, proposing a master in which you live in a university community that, is community that is represent, uh, represented by the Politecnico di Milano that is one of the most ranked uh, university into the world about the design. This year, Politecnico di Milano is in the fifth position into the world, into the international QS ranking. The other uh, reason is that you will interact uh, with the top scholars and the practitioner in the field of design, strategic design and design management. And then you will have the possibility to learn from a highly innovative organization and then uh, you will leverage the network of alumni that uh, we have uh, and that we are building uh, uh, in this period as one of the assets for this master. And uh, you can leverage the long tradition of our master because after 23 edition of this master, we have alumni in all over the world uh, in a lot of organization that uh, are considered the big corporation or small and medium company. In every case, they are very dynamic and uh, let me say worldwide recognized. That's it. I think that uh, it's a sort of a very quick overview about what we do, what is the core of our master and what are the key assets. I think that more or less, I told you, let me say the, the main uh, key point of this master, then I will leave the floor to Elisa in order to provide you some technical information about the selection, about the admission requirement, uh, the tuition fee. Uh, and then if there are uh, uh, questions, doubt, consideration, I will remain, we could say, for the final part of this presentation. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Elisa Piccini, and I'm from uh, the Education Office of Polydesign. So here I would like to give you some uh, details about the selection and admission process. Mainly here uh, um, you may find the, the web link leading you to the single page of, uh, of the master. And in particular, you can always enter the, the single page of the master from our website uh, uh, www.polydesign.net. And in the single page of the master, you will find the apply uh, button uh, leading you to uh, a form that you will need to uh, fill with the, some bio data, uh, in particular your name, surname and contacts and uh, there you will have to uh, upload the selection documents that you may find listed here, in particular your updated CV, a motivation letter explaining why you would like to apply for the master and why would like, you would like to take part in the master itself, uh, a portfolio in case you have a background in, um, in architecture or design. Uh, of course, this item is not mandatory, uh, mainly because as Professor Cautela was saying, uh, we uh, host uh, students having also different backgrounds, more li linked maybe to uh, business, to marketing and uh, international relationships and so on. Uh, so it is not a mandatory item, but it is mandatory, let's say, for uh, people having uh, um, a bachelor degree in, um, in uh, design or architecture. Uh, and uh, um, from the formal point of view, we will also need to uh, receive uh, the scanning of your ID card or passport, a scanning of your uh, bachelor degree, and uh, a scanning of your university transcript. 
um, mainly because uh, the evaluation of your profile will be based uh, on an evaluation by the master board and uh, on a formal evaluation by Politecnico di Milano of uh, the uh, recognition and the eligibility of uh, your degree for uh, a first level specializing master mainly. Um, it will be checked that uh, the degree that you uh, had achieved is recognized by the Italian Ministry of Education and so that you can uh, be formally admitted in the master itself. Uh, from the point of view of the evaluation uh, by the master board, uh, after we will have received your uh, selection documents, uh, we will uh, <coughs> fix a date uh, for uh, the entry exam. That is a form that you will receive by email and you will have two days, 84 hours to uh, fill and to provide that field. After that, uh, a selection interview will be fixed uh, with uh, one of the members of the master board and uh, uh, this uh, interview will take place by Skype or uh, by a platform or by Zoom as a general rule. So mainly uh, after this uh, process uh, of different evaluation, uh, you will receive an official feedback uh, uh, mentioning if uh, you were considered uh, eligible uh, for the master or not. And uh, uh, of course, in case of a positive evaluation of your profile, you will receive uh, all the details uh, to proceed with uh, the enrollment in the master and to fix your place in the class. Uh, mainly, uh, the, the cost of the class, uh, the, uh, the cost of the master is 14,500 euro. Uh, in particular, five, 500 euro are the uh, enrollment and matriculation fee to Politecnico di Milano, and 14,000 euro is the uh, attendance fee for, uh, for the master. Um, of course, uh, uh, while being admitted, you won't be required to pay the whole amount uh, uh, together, but mainly. Uh, with uh, the, the, the communication of, uh, of the admission, you will uh, be required uh, to, to provide the, uh, the payment of a part of, of this amount in order to, to fix your place in the class. Uh, here you may find uh, as well the, the deadlines by which you should uh, proceed with the application and uh, uh, in particular for uh, uh, candidates uh, having a foreign uh, Title, a title, a study title achieved abroad. abroad. Uh, the deadline for the application is going to be September the 25th. Whereas, whereas for candidates uh, having achieved a degree in Italy, the deadline is going to be October the, 20th, the, the 25th. So um, these two deadlines, as we mentioned, are different, mainly because uh, um, also the uh, enrollment documents uh, will be different. So in, in case you have uh, a degree that was achieved abroad, abroad, you will have to process some extra document for the matriculation. That's why uh, we would suggest to apply as soon as possible so that you have uh, uh, also time to arrange all the required document and in case visa and to arrange the movement uh, uh, to, to Italy and uh, um, booking the accommodation and so on. So these are more or less the main uh, uh, points about the, the selection process and the admission process. But I'm here in case, of course, you have any uh, doubts about this. Thank you so much. So while the presentation was going on, we actually received quite a good number of questions. So I'm just going through them. So uh, Elise and the Professor Cautella can help us answering them. Um, so Alexandra is asking us about internships. So how does it work? If is the program or poly design helping the students uh, finding uh, an internship? Yes, uh, I can. Uh, I can provide an answer. Uh, Polydesign will assist uh, all the students in searching for uh, internship. Corporate, let's we say, context where where to do. Let's we say the internship. Uh, we usually provide on the basis of the preference of the single candidates three option. And then with the candidates, there is a sort of, uh, let's we say, negotiation about uh, the different possibility. Uh, we offer option, uh, then the student, they go to make the interview, so we cannot uh, influence or affect uh, the final decision from the side of the company, but uh, it's, uh, let's we say, up to the student ability to, 
<laughs> to get the success in uh, in doing what they want to do with the company they want to choose. Thank you. Uh, Dewi is asking us if we can give some example of design related courses within the master and also in this case, someone that has quite experience almost 10 years as an entrepreneur and product director, mainly in software. Do you think it could be a suitable background for these programs? So someone with a bit of experience, so a professional in software could be suitable for this. Uh, yes, uh, let's we let's we divide the, 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 the question in two parts. Uh, the, the, the part related to the design courses, uh, uh, I just uh, quote different courses like uh, product service system design, uh, design management, uh, design uh, um, and entrepreneurship, or uh, let's we say, uh, there is a part that is fully dedicated to strategic design that covers more or less one week. Then there is a, a design and interaction. So there are different, uh, let's we say, articulation of the concept of strategic design from an organization point of view and from a design point of view. Uh, if you go on the website, uh, that is our website, that is a strategic design, uh, you can find uh, three kinds of courses, the management related courses, the design related courses, and then uh, the, let's we say, the interwind uh, uh, courses in which design and management today in a certain way interact. So uh, there is a, a complete structure on, on our website. Uh, about the question if uh, uh, a background in IT uh, could, uh, let's we say, attend this kind of master. Usually uh, we have different kind of profiles. Uh, we have profiles from design background. Uh, it means that they want more management. We have uh, uh, profiles from management it means that they have, let's we say, the need to acquire more design sensitivities. And we have uh, inside these uh, clusters uh, uh, people that they come uh, from uh, IT because they want, uh, let's we say, to understand uh, how to uh, mix an IT vertical uh, background uh, with uh, some design skills uh, to redesign, for example, even processing an organization because uh, a lot of process should be user-centered design. So there are different uh, profiles that we attract uh, uh, and IT is one of them. Thank you. A question from Jacopo. So he's asking if in terms of job outcomes, this master is actually suitable for someone that will end up being, let's say, a uh, project organizer, or organizer in a company or like uh, an advisor, some sort of consultant. Uh, we uh, have a lot of alumni that they work uh, in uh, design consulting. It's uh, one of the main goal of the master is to create a strategic design consultant. Uh, a lot of our partner, they come from the consulting world. Uh, and when I, when I think about the consulting world, I'm thinking about uh, Deloitte Digital or Fjord or... Uh, uh, we have even alumni in IDEO or other kind of uh, realities that they are investing in design. You know, there are a lot of uh, uh, the whole the management consulting company that uh, they had the operation in terms of a merger and acquisition with the design boutique or design studios. So nowadays, the management consulting and design consulting, they are sold together. So. Uh, for sure, we create this kind of profile that uh, before or later, they will land uh, in a consulting context. Thank you. Uh, Nicola is asking if uh, this master can actually be done online uh, entirely. And in this, in this case, we are talking about full-time employee. So if it's somehow feasible to study and work at the same time, and if an internship can be done in the company, where the student is currently working? Uh, 
um, let's we start by the technology possibility, the e-learning possibility. Yes, we sell uh, the possibility to attend uh, the, the master as uh, uh, it happened this year with the student abroad uh, that they didn't came to Milano. So there is this possibility, but I have to, to stress a but. The experience is not the same as you can understand for different kind of reason is even because the workshop and the design session, the experience becomes vivid if you are on stage. So it, it means that uh, uh, living the master experience on site is completely different by living it uh, at the distance. Uh, but we offer this kind of possibility. The main uh, uh, critical point is that uh, if you are uh, uh, abroad uh, in countries where the time lapse is, uh, is huge, there are seven, eight hours of distance, uh, it is difficult to connect and to join the group when they are in the daily working routine. Um, the other question uh, was about the executive, working full time, yeah. The executive part, yeah. Uh, it's hard. Uh, it's hard to attend a course like this with a, with an executive uh, uh, philosophy because we have lecture four days per week, and the lecture are from uh, the nine in the morning to the afternoon. So uh, it's really tough. To, 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 to think about uh, an executive profile that attend this kind of master. Thank you. We have time for one final question about if a student they has a majoring environmental design, but less uh, experience can be eligible for the admission. So in this case, if experience is required in order to be admitted to this program. It is required uh, as a sufficient a couple of years uh, in uh, any kind of, let's we say, working position. We don't want just new uh, baccalaureate uh, that they attend this master because we think that after a couple of years of experience in the, in the job, uh, let's we say, dynamics and word, uh, it's something different in terms of learning and the takeaways that you can plan from a master like this. So it's uh, highly recommended uh, to, to, to get uh, this master after a job position of a couple of years, three years, no more. Thank you. Fortunately, uh, the time is running out, but I wanted to thank the Professor Cautela and Elisa Piccini for staying with us and for answering all of your questions. Uh, we, you will find more information, as the Professor was mentioning, on the website, but also on the Digital Open Day website. I'm just going to post a link. And in case you want to find out more about the program and rewatch the presentation, it will be available over the next few days. So thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you soon at Poly Design. Then, thank you. Thank you, Federica. Bye bye to everyone, thank and have you. a great weekend. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, bye.